Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can custom create a recipe in Chronometer and then how you can use that recipe to log your calories to keep track of your macronutrients. If you are trying to lose weight and you are trying to track your calories, I strongly believe you're going to benefit from this video. If you are watching this video for the first time, I'd like to welcome you to my channel. My name is Nisha. I am a fitness trainer. I'm a mom of two and I'm in my 40s. Health and fitness is my passion. And that is the reason why I created this channel to show you how you can get healthy and fit as a vegan in your 40s and beyond. If you are new to my channel and you are looking to lose some weight as a vegan, I highly recommend you go watch this video. In this video, I go over all the details as to how to change your diet and nutrition if you are trying to lose fat while retaining muscle mass. I am certain that you are going to benefit from that video, so make sure you go ahead and watch that video first. In today's video, I'm also going to share my easy, healthy um, cabbage recipe that many of you requested from my last video. This uh, recipe is super simple and easy. I'm actually quite embarrassed to share this, but you guys wanted this recipe, so I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this. Cabbage is one of my favorite veggies to include during fat loss phase and the reason for that is it's because it's super low in calories and it's quite filling so i really love to add cabbage to my meals when i'm trying to lose fat so that i don't feel like i'm starving but i have extra volume of food and once we are done cooking cabbage i am going to sit down and show you how to custom create that recipe in Chronometer app. So before we get into all that, I just wanted to welcome everyone who recently subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate every one of you and thank you so much for being here. I hope to continue to provide you guys with valuable content on my channel. As always, I appreciate your feedback. So please always drop your comments in the comment section below to let me know what other type of video you would like to see from me if you find value in today's video then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure if you're not subscribed then hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that every time i upload a video each week you will be notified all right let's get started and cook this cabbage all right to speed things up we are going to start with sauteing our onion a good non-stick frying pan is a must if you are on your fat loss journey and you want to keep your calories low with non-stick frying pan you don't need to add ton of oil to your meals and you still get pretty decent meal without all those extra added calories i lightly sprayed my pan with three to four sprays of avocado oil and then i'm going to brown my onions slowly and while onions are browning we are going to chop up our cabbage and keep that aside just to add some color and variety to this cabbage i'm going to add about half a cup of frozen green peas and one medium-sized shredded carrot so i'm going to shred my carrot and keep that aside and i tend to use about half a cabbage and i store the rest in the fridge to use later because it ends up being quite a bit so please go ahead and do this according to your needs but if you're going to use a full big cabbage you will have to adjust your spices accordingly and i'm measuring out my cabbage just so that i can log this into my chronometer app just to show you guys make sure while you're chopping your cabbage you are stirring your onion um, every now and then just to allow them to brown evenly and once onions have browned i added about one teaspoon of grated ginger one teaspoon of grated minced garlic from kirkland and then one green thai chili if you don't like things spicy you can omit this but i believe it really adds the flavor and then i added about two-thirds teaspoon of turmeric powder 
two third teaspoon of cumin powder and some salt and then I'm going to saute this just for about a minute until all the spices start to release fragrance and then I'm going to add my um, chopped cabbage in there and stir it gently and then I'm going to close the lid and let it cook on the stovetop at medium low temperature and then I'm going to again gently continue to stir it every now and then to allow the cabbage to cook evenly after about five to six minutes of uh, cooking the cabbage i am going to add my grated carrot and green peas and i'm going to uh, let it continue to cook for another five to ten minutes this entire uh, recipe takes about 15 uh, minutes max to cook and maybe additional five to six minutes for chopping and it's pretty simple tasty and you can add it to your meals with my tofu sriracha mayo sauce. It tastes amazing in my opinion. Okay, so before we start with this app, I just want to say I think this app is pronounced chronometer or chronometer. That's the way I say it. So if I'm saying it wrong, please forgive me. So you need to create an account, obviously, in order to access this app. And you can access a desktop version or you can download this on your phone. I find the desktop version is much easier when you're trying to create a recipe as you have access to more menus. So initially when you come in here, you are going to go under profile and targets, and that is where you can enter your macro um, breakdown. So for your protein, carbs, and fat. You can also add your goal weight at the top, but honestly i wouldn't worry about what this app will recommend in terms of how many calories you need to eat the purpose of this app is just to track your macronutrients in terms of protein carbs and fat so you can play around with those numbers and see where you want to keep those numbers i like to keep my protein currently at 28 percent my carbs at 47 percent and fat at 25 percent again everyone is different so you need to adjust these macros according to your goal my goal is always to preserve muscle mass and to decrease body fat so that's the reason why I like my macros to be at this number so once you have done that you can start tracking your calories you can go to custom recipes if you're creating your recipe from scratch and that is where you will enter the recipe name and then you will start to add ingredients into that recipe before we get into that i just quickly wanted to show you that there are plenty of other options in this app so for example if you drink coffee every single day and you add same amount of milk into your coffee you can copy and paste those entries into the next day you don't need to keep on adding those back in that's the uh, cool thing about this app you can just copy and paste your entries over and over as much as you need to every single day so that's what makes this app um, so easy to use and then you can also look at the breakdown of your macronutrients every single day if your goal is to increase your iron calcium or whatever it may be all right, so let's go ahead and custom create our cabbage recipe in here. I am going to start by going to create recipe and I'm going to give it a name. I already have this recipe saved, so I'm just going to call it sauteed cabbage too. And then once we have given it a name, then we can start to add ingredients into this recipe. So I went ahead and clicked on add ingredients and I'm going to search up green cabbage and then I'm going to add it by grams. So as I show 
showed you guys earlier, I added uh, about 1058 grams of raw cabbage into this recipe. So I'm going to enter that in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and find a medium size onion and I'm going to add that in here. Then I'm going to do the same thing for every single ingredient that I added into this recipe. So here I am adding some carrot and then I am going to add some green peas and add that into this app as you can see most ingredients are already listed in this app it's just matter of finding them and just continue to keep on adding them so if you weigh everything out you will be as accurate as you can be so it's up to you if you want to just guesstimate or if you really want to be accurate then you need your food scale to measure out everything and then I'm going to go ahead and add the spices in here as well so I am going to continue to do that until I've added all my ingredients one thing I'd like to say is that in this um, recipe I used raw cabbage I will not use raw cabbage as my uh, ingredient I will use cooked cabbage because the quantity and the volume volume of raw cabbage versus cooked cabbage is different cooked cabbage tends to become more denser as you cook it so the quantity decreases uh, for cooked cabbage but here I used raw cabbage just to show you guys the difference between calories so I used cooked cabbage which was 250 grams but in this recipe I have added raw cabbage so once you add the quantity of the cooked or raw cabbage for 250 grams you'll see the calorie count for cooked or raw is almost identical it doesn't make a huge difference so you can decide which ingredient you want to use whether you want to use cooked or raw while I was recording this YouTube video for you guys, I just realized that I made a mistake on my last YouTube video where I showed you guys this meal and my cabbage being about 45 calories for 250 grams. That's an error that I made. I thought that I had selected my cabbage recipe in this meal, but I had accidentally selected cooked green cabbage from this app instead of my custom recipe i thought i had selected my custom recipe but i didn't that's the mistake i realized as i was recording this video so i was off by 30 calories it's not a lot but i just wanted to make that clear that that was an error on my part all right so going back to this cabbage recipe in this app i usually tend to add cooked food into my recipe as much as i can so dry rice for example will be way different than cooked rice so keep that in mind once you save the recipe all you have to do is put your plate on the food scale and measure out how many grams of that recipe you are eating and log that in here so for example here 250 grams of cooked cabbage is about 80 calories it's that simple and once you save this recipe it's going to be there forever so if you're eating similar foods over and over it makes life so much easier another cool thing about this app is that there are uh, many different brands of items that are already added into their database so for example i like to eat powdered peanut butter quite a bit as you can see that um, brand is already in here so all you have to do is measure out how many grams of powdered peanut butter you're having and then you can just log that in here it makes tracking so much easier only thing that you need to do is invest in a good quality food scale that cost about ten dollars on amazon and then you can continue to measure out your food onto that scale and add them in here kirkland brand is also in here so here i'm showing you natural peanut butter from costco all you have to do is measure out how many grams of that peanut butter you're consuming and you can just log that in another brand that i like to use quite a bit is stone mill whole grain bread so as you can see all their bread is listed here as well so you just have to measure out the bread on the scale don't just go by by how many grams it's already set in here sometimes um, the grams of that bread tends to be more or less so make sure you measure it out on your food scale and enter those ingredients in here 
I just want to emphasize that tracking is a tool. It's not a permanent solution for anyone. Tracking should not be done for the rest of your life. However, tracking is a great tool when you are not making any progress on your fat loss journey and you're not sure where you're going wrong in terms of your nutrition. So what tracking does is it opens your eyes and it actually shows you how many calories you actually think you're consuming. Just make sure when you are tracking Tracking your food, you are being honest, you are entering every single licks and bites that you are eating, and as well as how many condiments you're adding onto your meal and how much oil you're pouring into your meal. You'll be shocked to learn how calories add up so quickly from just those licks and bites and small amount of oil here and there. To summarize, I would focus on overall calories intake in terms of fat loss in this app. So make sure you're eating below your maintenance calories and how to calculate how many calories you should be eating for fat loss. I go over that in one of my YouTube shorts video. I will leave that in the description box below. And I would also focus on making sure that my protein uh, intake is quite high during fat loss phase because my goal always is to ensure that I'm not losing my muscle mass and I am only targeting fat loss so in order to do that I continue to lift weights at the gym while I'm keeping my protein intake high. If you guys have any questions regarding tracking or anything that I've mentioned in this video make sure to drop them below and I will make sure to answer those for you. Once you get hang up tracking calories it becomes so easy and Chronometer is an easy app to use and it's absolutely free. So I really like to use this app for myself and for my one-on-one -on -one clients. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment below to let me know. And if you're not already subscribed, then please subscribe and hit that bell notification. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you very soon on my next one. Bye.